In this didactic unit, we will focus on the Z-Wave Smart LED Light Bulb and RGBW Light Bulb. These are two LED lights which are compatible with the Z-Wave protocol. These bulbs can be included and operated in any Z-Wave network with other Z-Wave certified devices from other manufacturers and other applications. Smart Light Bulb is a member of the Z-Wave family and communicates with other Z-Wave certified devices in a control network. The Smart Bulb can be controlled by the Z-Wave remote controller or apps. Each Z-Wave device serves as a node to repeat the signal in the network, thus extending the overall Z-Wave mesh wireless network range. To include Smart Bulb, you have to place Network Controller into Inclusion mode by activating Settings tab and then Add or Remove a device. Click on Add a Z-Wave device and a new window will appear indicating that you have to push the Peripheral Inclusion button several times in a row. When you hear You can include your device. You have to screw the Smart Bulb into a socket. The smart bulb will be included into your network within 30 seconds. The smart bulb will flash two times after successful inclusion. Zipato bulb with dimmer makes home lighting more fun and comfortable. With Zipato bulb, we can control color and intensity of home lights from the convenience of our smartphone or other Z-Wave enabled controller. It has separate warm white, cold white and color LEDs. This allows us to create both colorful light environments and regular white lighting, which is easily customizable from an iOS or Android smartphone. It has a range of about 16 million colors available. Bulb fits into regular E27 socket and is able to produce light intensity comparable to 60 Watt incandescent bulb. Advanced possibilities of Zipato RGBW bulb are almost unlimited. For the inclusion of Zipato RGBW light bulb, you will follow the same steps as for the Z-Wave Smart LED light bulb. The lamps will automatically be placed in the virtual room with the name Lighting. Now, you will place the lamps in the room panel 2 by clicking on panel 2 icon. After, you have to press Save All Channels and Save Again. You can see both lamps to the System Configuration tab. Once each module is recognized by the Edomus controller, a configuration window appears to configure the most important parameters for correct operation. You will then change the name of each lamp, but also every function of them, so that it is easier to know their place in the virtual rooms. The names you give will be RGBW on-off, RGBW color and dimmable lamp. Next, if you click on RGBW color in the new window, you can see the different color you can choose for the lamp. By clicking on RGBW on off, you have to on, off or dimmable the lamp. 
choose the tab values and mark the show hidden actions option and you will see more dimming values. Click on 60% and save. To end the programming command, you have to select the tabs Configuration, Programming, New Programming, General Lighting Mode, New. By choosing New, a new window will appear and now you have to concern lamps by clicking in Dimmable Bulb Panel 2 and RGB On Off Panel 2, Squares and save the new programming rule. In this way, a global button is created for your lights, all on, all off, automatic, manual, etc. In the lighting virtual room with the name General Lighting Mode. From this new button, you can turn on and off both lamps. Exclusion process is similar to the inclusion process. Turn off power to the light bulb socket of chosen location. Again, activate settings tab and then add or remove a device, remove a Z-Wave device. When the controller is into exclusion mode, you must turn on the light switch. Bulbs will flash two times after a successful exclusion. The bulbs will be excluded from your network.